guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki and Manny Photography blog. My name is Manny and today's tutorial I want to show all the advanced photoshoppers a small trick that I use sometimes and it's called a double raw conversion. Now if you're new to Photoshop this might be a bit hard. I will run through Photoshop quite quickly today and explain some stuff that I use. So all advanced guys you are able to see some stuff or maybe see how I work. Okay so let's get started and the first thing I want to do I'm still in camera raw or bridge and I have this image right in front of me where I shot the guy in a suit in an ugly toilet looking very dirty and my exposure is not actually the best exposure I wanted. So I've got it, this background and it's looking quite dark and the person is really really dark. Now with this double raw conversion today I want to win more details out of the suit. So how are we going to do this? First thing I want to do is double click onto my image again taking it back to camera raw and in camera raw I firstly want to just adjust all the backgrounds and everything that I want to keep in this image or have the main image and have the main colors for the image so I'm gonna work a bit on this quickly my temperature I'm gonna keep it at 5000 that's good for me my exposure I'm maybe gonna up that a little bit maybe a plus 5 plus 10 then recovery not gonna work with that fill light yes a little bit just for the backgrounds just to push the background a little bit so it suits again with the image at the end with the suit because obviously if I'm going to take out a lot of detail from the suit it will look a bit weird look a bit fake uh, compared to the background so I'm going to brighten up the background a little bit use a bit of blacks contrast a little bit then saturation I would just want to take that yellowish a bit out of the background so I'm going to make it a bit darkish and we're good to go. That's pretty much what I want to do with this image. This is pretty much the basic image now. I'm going to say open object and it will be taken right through to Photoshop. Okay, so Photoshop opened it. I'm going to make it a bit bigger for us. Press F to make it a big large screen. And now I've got my original layer down here. As you guys can see, going to double click on this and going to rename that to original. Okay, so that was our original image. Next step that I'm going to do is say Command J to duplicate that and I'm going to rename that to Layer 1. Layer 1 and I'm going to keep it over there. And then again I'm going to do another duplicate now, Command J, and I'm going to rename that to Layer 2. Now the reason why I have layer 1, layer 2 and original is because I want to keep this file as my original, original image and if I have a problem I can always fall back onto that original layer. So I'm not going to work with this now, we're going to lock this uh, layer and keep it over there. Layer 1, we're going to say right click and say rasterize layer so it will not be altered because it's a smart object so if I change my layer 2 now because we're working with a double raw conversion it will alter my layer 1 as well okay so back to layer 2 double click on this icon here the small uh, smart object icon and will be taking you back to camera raw okay open that in camera raw now we're pretty much working on the second image still the same image but we're trying to get some details now getting details from the suit and what I will do now is keep everything pretty much the same temperature and everything you can't change the temperature or the color now because it will be looking fake then what I will do is just take the fill lights and take them all the way up even more and even more just watch out while you're doing this there will be a lot of noise and the more you push the fill lights the more noise you will get and watch out sometimes you get this ugly halo or this ugly cyan colored pixels on the edge of your object that you want to close or what want to actually brighten up so just be a mind or bear mind that that could happen as well all right so gonna push my fill lights a little bit more say about 80 percent then my blacks a little bit just to push that brightness as well and just going to zoom in a little bit onto the, my image here to see how much detail I can actually get out of this suit and that it will not look too fake. I'm going to take my fill light down a little bit to say 70%, 75 and that's alright for me. The skin and everything still looks good, maybe saturation up a little bit and clarity just to brighten that or give that contrast a little bit of a push. Not too much clarity but more contrast, say about 31 then I'm going to move over to my detail sliders over here and move my amount of details all the way up to say 30% and my radius down to 0.6 just to sharpen the person a little bit and to sharpen the suit. Okay, zoom out of that again and that's all I wanted to do for now. What I'm going to press now again, OK, and we'll be taken back to uh, Photoshop, smart objects being prepared 
and you will notice now boof there's our new photo we've got such a bright photo now compared to the older photo and we've got so much new details so as I said before just have a look there is quite an ugly halo around the person but we're gonna work all of that now so next step I'm gonna do in layer 2 gonna say right click again and say rasterize layer again so we have pretty much normal layers we're working unconstructive but it is working better for me and we're not altering the original layer okay next step that I'm gonna do in my layer 2 press the masking tool hold alt and create a black mask so we can paint in the details now alright go back to my brush press B for brush and I'm pretty much changing my brush size now and altering my brush which you can do in CS5 with holding control and alt pressing down with the mouse you can move left and right to change your brush size if you go up and down you can change your hardness and softness I'm gonna change my brush size uh, pretty much going to take it to say 200 or 150 around there make it big for now trying to find my softness first okay over there and I'm working with a vacuum continuous 4 tablet so I'm able to just turn my wheel down here and change my brush size really quickly so if you're doing a lot of photoshopping I would prefer buy yourself this vacuum continuous 4 board alright next step I'm gonna do is change my foreground color here on the side back to white so we are going to draw in some details now then opacity I want to change my opacity from 100% down to 50% say around 51 50 percent that's also good for me the flow we're going to keep it at 100 percent and now have a look we're going to paint in all the details every time now just bear in mind every time you drop your mouse or you start again it will start again with another 50 percent opacity so you will draw over it over it again and over it and you will just get more and more detail so i'm painting really slowly over here not that carefully on the sides of the person as you guys can see I'm starting to get this ugly halo now as I'm painting around him okay I'm gonna move up a little bit and paint again so I drop the mouse now once and have a look if I go over his skin he gets brighter and brighter so if you want to you can brighten this up a little bit more while painting over him okay go down a little bit more and I want to get some more details out of his shirt and out of the suit from the hand down here paint over that paint over the suit again and a little bit over the suit down here now just bear in mind if I paint over here as I said before have a look these halos they are not nice at all but don't worry we're gonna tackle these halos in a little bit okay gonna paint over this again and then again and you guys can notice that there is coming more detail and more detail okay that looks good to me paint that a little bit and I want to paint the arm a little bit over here going to change my brush size a little bit again paint over his fingers and just be very carefully while you're doing that then you don't need to do so much work afterwards and if you're doing this with a very hard brush this is very hard so be in mind use a feathered brush okay and that looks okay to me gonna zoom out a little bit just to see the effect how much more detail we got from this image okay I can actually take it up another level so I'm gonna take the brush and paint again over his suit and over here maybe some more details out of the shirt gonna paint again over the shirt and here so just bear in mind if you maybe have a shot and you think that well I need more detail somewhere you can use this technique with a double raw conversion to get more detail out of your image okay so I'm pretty much done with painting out enough detail maybe a little bit more in his hair and that looks good to me a bit on the arm here and now we want to still tackle these ugly halos around there so what I'm gonna do is press again on my mask change my foreground color with X and go back into my image zoom very closely take my opacity back to 50 percent move again with my brush make it a bit more feathered and way way smaller and then really slowly paint in with black on the mask now pretty much you are just painting back the backgrounds okay painting that and here just be very carefully while you're doing that otherwise you're painting over the suit again and you're destroying the effect that you just created as you guys can see here I'm not doing it so carefully so I'm pretty much painting back the blacks into the suit over here want to paint that back and behind him okay a little bit over here and over there and over here so here we created another halo 
Just watch out now. I'm going over the suit again. And as I'm going over the suit, it obviously gets black again. So I'm going to change my foreground color again with X to white. Paint that in. Make my brush size really small and go all the way around here and just get a nice detail. Okay. Move up with hand tool. Press X again and change these blacks over here as well. Halos, paint them out. Okay. Move again around your image, have a look a little bit. Over here at the hair, you can see it, we still have a little bit of um, halos. So I'm going to change back to my brush, foreground color back to black, and paint that out again. Be very careful with that. Okay. Painted that back. Obviously, that looks good on this image because it has a nice backlit. But if you're doing this on other images, it also should look quite good. Okay, so as you guys can see, we got a lot of more detail out of this image. I'm going to blend out these two layers that we just did, and you can pretty much see where we started off. Okay, this is still our raw conversion, so I'm going to double click on here, say OK. Yeah, we locked it, so we have to unlock it. Double click on here, and it will take us back to Bridge uh, Camera Raw. In here, I'm going to say back to image settings, the way we shot the image. OK, smart object is being prepared again. And now you can pretty much see that is the original shot that we had. Then we created a bit more fill in the background and then obviously onto the original layer at the top. And now you can see how much detail we got from here. If I blend it in and out, you can still see there is a bit of halo around here. So I should have painted a bit more. But for me now the effect was quite good and I created a bit more of detail and the image doesn't look so bad anymore. So just say for example you've got a shot that you just have to use and you can't use a different shot then this technique to pretty much get that effect. Now last step that I'm going to do is say command G to just make a new group from that. Double say that's a raw conversion. Conversion, okay, I'm going to save it like that. So last step that I'm going to do is press Command, Alt, Shift and E and that is a new layer and I call that the master shortcut to create a new layer with all layers included. So you actually merge all layers together. Double click on here and it is your final layer. Now you've pretty much have this layer between you and you can blend this in and out and you can definitely see what happened, what you have on your image and you've created way more detail and it looks way way better. Okay, so I hope this tutorial helped you guys a little bit. Uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Manny and see you next week for another Technical Wednesday Rundown. Bye-bye.